Jeffrey realizes the truth of becoming a successful investor and he feels so depressed. It's too difficult. I can't do that. I have to beat 95% of other players in the game. That's going to be impossible. Adonis. Adonis is the upper echelon of crypto investors. That means he gets to enjoy the finest things in life when the next bull run happens. In this video, I'm going to give you 10 altcoins that I think you need to have in your portfolio before the next bull run. They're going to cover all spectrums of safe plays but can still give you great returns and then we're going to get into the dumpster the absolute not memes still have a great business behind the coins but they're super super risky and i think it's great to have this overall perspective of the portfolio because once you get to guarantee returns somewhat they're not going to be amazing 100x gains but you're going to make money and on the other hand it's like okay if they do well they don't even need to do that well they can go absolute crazy so i think it's great to have this kind of portfolio again nfa non-financial advice you guys already know i'm not trying to sell you anything i have nothing to sell you bar the community and I, if you join it great if not there's no hard feeling none of these companies pay me for money let's just make that very effing clear so before i give you the coins let's talk about some brutal facts and this this might hurt you a little bit but it's like okay key findings a higher percent of cryptocurrency investors have lost money than made 38 percent of americans who have held form of cryptocurrency say they've sold it for less than when they bought it versus 28 percent who said they make a profit only 13 percent say they broke even and this might sound quite bad and i actually would argue against this i would think it's way worse than this the guys that lie in like the 28 percent they're all men let's be honest maybe 0.1 percent are female that's like the guy that says to the girl yes my pp is 10 inches and then she slowly finds out later it's four to five to six but it doesn't matter because they're naked anyways and he seals the deal. It kind of reminds me like this. Guys tell white lies. I'm six foot three, but I'm not. I'm maybe six foot one with some moderately decent shoes on, but I'll claim six foot three, right? That's kind of what I reckon is happening here. Guys lie. Guys tell, we call them white lies. White lies. That's a white lie, Jake. And I think that's what's happening here because guys like to overestimate, right? This is a Rolex watch. No, it's a G-Shock. It costs like $600, but it's like, oh, wow, could be a good watch. You get what I'm saying. So this is good, but it's also not good because what we're realizing here is if we look at the next one, 80% of Bitcoin investors have lost money, says a study. I would argue it's 90, 95, to be honest. So that really means you have to be in the top 5% of investors to actually make any money. We're putting all this time and effort, most importantly for me, time. Two, three, four years. I've been investing three years in a bit. If you talk about it since I've started, I'm not here to lose money because I'm not here to waste three years of my life where I could have put it in real estate, safer stocks etc the reason i'm in cryptocurrency is to milk let me say this again the reason we're in cryptocurrency is to get reasonably rich in the next bull run whether you have 10k 5k or 500k we're not here to fuck this around so understand that we are betting against losing like it's it's an uphill battle but that's 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 life anything in life the gym making money there has to be some sort of risk there because if it was easy everybody would have it if this was easy everybody would have it but most men out there they're absolute losers and they don't want to put any work so just like in cryptocurrency everything can be achieved but the riches the returns that we all hear about and we all want it takes some hard work but we've kind of found out the formula and it's very very simple and you guys should already know what that is now this was me let me make this very clear no other crypto guys will tell you this i lost so much money in the last run but you know what's funny i didn't actually lose money i made money what are you talking about, Jake? Well, I did the active income, right? Ecom, printing a lot of money. That could be you in your job. That could be you in your side hustle. That could be just nine to five job, blah, blah. That's your active income. I did the DCA. So every single week, I did more lump sums at the start. And then I started to DCA heavily. And then I bought the solid place. They all went up. All my coins went up. Every single coin went up that I bought. Bill run, right? Didn't matter the coin. I wish I bought speculative coins. But in the end, it wouldn't have mattered because I made all this money. But I didn't because... This was me, not the coins, but I'll tell you in a second. Profit taking Jeffrey. So I did 95% of the work. So I was laughing at this. I was like, ha, idiots. I'm making money here, but guess what? It doesn't matter. If you've not banked your money in your bank account, not in some exchange, not in stable coins, it's not your money. It's the exchange's money. When you move money to Coinbase, okay, and you just leave them there, it's Coinbase's money. It's not even your money. So when it's in your bank account, it's your money. Technically, it's technically not your money. If you want to be really fucking foolproof, like it's the bank's money. They can insure you in the UK up to 85k, I think. But 85k is like, okay, we crossed that a long time ago. So we have to start diversifying into other bank accounts, etc. Here, I'm going to get up a Thai bank account when I get my visa set up. So the money's going to be so spread by this next bull run because I don't want to have 
<laughs> five, six, seven, eight million in Royal Bank of Scotland, Jake Gordon, one account, and RBS goes down because some crazy times happen and it's like, oh, well, you're only insured up to 85K, the 5.4 million, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, it's gone now. And I have to start a square one again. So it's very important once you bank the money, understand where to put the money. So, so important. I look at this and it's like, ha, silly people. I was one of them, okay, because I was this guy. Now, there were good plays on all my money. So this is a screenshot. My editor brought this up in the last video I made. So Shiba, Luna, Dodge, Pepe, FTX, right? So back in the day, if we bring these up, here's Shiba. Shiba was fantastic, right? You had a million X gains. It went from how many zeros? You do the math, brother, to still a lot of zeros, but <laughs> multipliers, 1,000 X, 10,000 X, I don't effing know, maybe even a million X, who knows, right? But guess what? Bear market came, you either made money, but you had to sell. Luna, it's game over, boys, if you're still believing this, made fucking millionaires, but... I also seen when this started to crash, people were committing suicide, those millionaires, because they bet everything on, they were betting for the $1,000 Luna, there was a million X gains here, they didn't take profits. Dogecoin, I still think Dodge is going to do well, in fact, I think Shiba's going to do well again in the next run just because it means, but I think Dodge is absolutely fine, but you do not want to wait 3-4 years to actually get your money back if you bought at all time highs, it's so much more returns, imagine you bet it up here, simple maths. Pepe, Crazy one, not fully down yet. I think it's still going to do this and then it'll run in the next run. It'll be absolutely fine just because memes are memes, unfortunately. I say unfortunately, I'm, I'm the guy that's like probably the grandfather investor. It's like, ah, it just pisses me off because I know I should be investing a small percent in coins like this, but it's like, it hurts my soul. I don't want to give the peppy founder that's probably younger than me and sitting in his mum's basement making all this money. I don't want to give him the money, but I know he can make me money. So that's why it kind of pisses me off. But guess what? Money was made. Decently money lost, right? But you're still fine in this one. It's going to be, in my opinion, still fine. But what's the narrative behind these? Same thing again with me. I didn't buy any of these coins, right? I wish I did, but it wouldn't have mattered because I wouldn't have sold, right? So I bought solid coins, Ethereum, BTC, Gala Games, all these. But guess what? Even Celsius, to some degree, I was up on Celsius before it went absolutely crashed. Like, if I just bank profits on all these coins, like, I just didn't, right? It doesn't matter. So you can do everything right. But if you just get the last bit of taking profits, it doesn't matter. You wasted your whole run. You absolutely wasted the whole run. And that's not what we're here to do. So let's go further. Here's another video I made. The difference of plays, right? So this is my portfolio. The small one I share with you guys. It is now at seven grand, right? You may be thinking, Jake, I thought you were super, super rich, blah, blah, blah. I'm not super, super rich. I'm doing well, but I have a bigger portfolio. I'm not prepared to share it on the channel for obvious reasons. I share this one. And this is real money because I want to show you how fast and how, I don't want to say easy, but how possible it is to turn like 10, 11, 12, 13 K when we're fully investing this to ride, in my opinion, safest coins, okay? And I think I can turn this into, give or take, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 K, depends when I start taking profits because I know once the goal is to get, the whole goal was this is to do a 10 K to 100 K, but I know when things get frothy, I'm not just going to not start selling at 50, 60, 70 K. And I might, I might not be a Jeffrey, but I might be a little bit of a, I don't want to swear, a little bit of a pussy right? It means I might start taking profits probably too early, but I don't want to just let like 50k, I'll just, it'll be fun money for me because it started as a joke. Not a joke, it's serious, but it's like, I want to actually take profits. So I might cash this out probably sooner than I should, but yeah, that's just some transparency there. And I think it's just because I'm still scarred, not scarred. It hurts a little bit from the last run, just waste, not wasting, just putting all this time and effort. It's not the money, just time. You can never get back your time. I'll give you a quick example. A lot of people here just like, they don't want to spend like the extra, even in Thailand, right? And I get Thailand's not poor, but like the guys don't make much money. Normal Thai people, they don't make much money. It's quite a shame. They're up here right now, they're working. And it's like, I know some of these guys, like a hundred bats, like $3. I know some of these guys are like, they'll, they won't pay the extra hundred baht if it would come like quicker, right? So for example, they'll walk where they could get a quick grab. They'll be there much faster, but they'd rather walk. And that's fine. But to me, I don't want to be wasting time. Time is so valued to me. Another example, I was with a girl last night and it was to like leave the place to leave the car park you could either get a stamp i know we're going off tangent here boys but this is it'll relevant because money's so important with cryptocurrency you could either stamp and it would cost 200 baht right to get out without the stamp so that's like six dollars seven dollars but if she went back up stamped her thing it would cost her like 50 baht so there'd be like a difference of like four or five dollars and she ran all the way back up probably took her like 15 minutes just to save five dollars fair enough but for me turn her back see you later that's just me 
I think time is so, so important. So when I talk about this and the last run, it's like, hey, yes, we lost money, but I lost so much time, like years, 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 years. But we learned a lot of lessons. So I put in here in the last video, the question you ask yourself is how much money have you already got in? So this portfolio, I think at this time was like 5K, it's now at 7K with the recent pump and a little bit of investing as well. And also how much over the next eight months, I would say it's now six months and what returns because you can have a portfolio like this and yes it might do a million next but chances are it's going to be very difficult or you can have a safer play you get to decide though for me it's a difference of place i choose this one every single time and that is what we're going to talk about in today's video we're going to talk about coins we're going to go absolutely crazy but first the first coin i think you need for the next bull run is ethereum the reason i think ethereum is because it's safe it's going to give you somewhat returns now i understand if you've got like two three grand maybe skip this one but if you've got like the 10 grand that I plan to hold in this portfolio, it is still a good play. Don't buy Bitcoin. It's just too much. The gains are not going to be there. But look at the supply. The supply is constantly going down. If you check, if you haven't seen this website, ultrasound.money, look at the burn. The supply growth is in the negative now. Okay, the gas fees are going to get absolute crazies with NFTs, etc. I think Ethereum is absolutely fantastic. I'll give you coin number two just while we're on this topic. Coin number two is QNT. And the reason I prefer QNT now is because when I was buying Ethereum at $400 and I made the 10x, that's when I see QNT now. So I buy this all day, 80 to $100. Every time it's under $100, I do a little nibble, a little, little nibble. And um, on this portfolio that I share with you guys, I'm probably too heavy in QNT, but I, it's just, I just know it's the Ethereum of my previous run in terms of gains. Not what it does. What it does is way different, way, way different. It's got a business behind it. It's got, you know, limited supply, less supply in Bitcoin. That's all great. But I look at this as less market cap. I'm going to write it up. There's no question at. So again, these are the first two coins I would hold if it was me. Number three is crypto.com. A couple of reasons. Massive, massive usage. Look at this. There's still, it's going back up again. Four, 3.5, 4 million every single month. That is what? 100,000 visitors plus every single day. Think about how low that is. Their exchange is great. For me, it's been absolutely fantastic. And I know a lot of people aren't on this website. They just use the app, right? So this could be, again, it's 80 million users worldwide. So I would argue there's probably 30, 40, probably a million people checking their wallets at least once a month, at least once a month. And they've got a lot of money. So they've still got the staple center, I believe. They're going to be absolutely running crazy with ads. If you look at crypto.com ads, um, Matt Damon, etc., etc. If you look at Formula, that's not how you spell Formula Jake, Formula One, just this shit, right? Just this shit. This shit's going to come in 2024 and 2025. Again, we take it further. UFC, this shit. You already seen it here in Thailand. There was a fight the other day and one of the guys had a crypto.com and like tank top, right? <laughs> it's like when people watch this and like, you know, this is getting streamed to millions and millions of Jeffreys and it's like starting to get peak bull run. It's starting to get like, like this, like we're here now, right? Chilling, a little bit of pump, a little bit more dump to come. And then crypto.com is like, okay, Jeffreys are about to get in. We start running UFC ads. We start running, you know, Staples Center, blah, blah, blah. We start running Formula One. We start going in New York. We're buying all these like taxis and all these cab advertisements. Just shit like this. That's what's going to push crypto.com up to huge highs. They'll still have a fantastic run because they've got a great product, right? I don't agree with their cards, etc. I think the, some of the rewards are pretty silly, but I like what they do. I like what they do. I think it's going to be a great play. A few of our guys in our community are expecting at least one, two, three, four dollars. It's pretty much doubled since the last time we spoke about this in the last year or so since back here. It's pretty much doubled. And I think it's, I think it hits one dollar. Uh, minimum and we'll see but that's just my opinion you should look at it Rollbit are burning their supply okay they're burning their tokens in the buyback scene they're also got 40 million dollars in september in revenue they've also got so many website users and they are also in the perfect niche for the next run yes ai etc fantastic but casino plays etc is so needed we're all gamblers at the end of the day and Rollbit, in my opinion again Rollbit, please sponsor me i would love 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 to be a part of it it's not going to happen boys but i'm just so bullish on this coin just because i think this coin literally goes i said this the other day if they keep burning and more people are getting wrecked with casinos that's just what over the long term everybody loses money let's just be honest gamblers won't like to admit that it's like alcoholics won't like to admit they're alcoholics it's just a couple of drinks a day and then it's like every single day they're drinking it's like come on bro you're an alcoholic smokers won't admit like they have to smoke it's the same thing i know it's unfortunate but it is what it is and these guys are going to continuously print money and they reward the token holders. For me, it's a risky play, absolutely. Just like Render is a super risky play. Coin number six or whatever we're on right now. Can't buy it right now, boys. I'm going to buy it very soon. Okay, very, very soon. We will get into this coin, but Render's a great one. You look at the website visitors, it's starting to grow massively. 
It's not as crazy as some of the other ones, but this is a still a very small project in this niche. But it's becoming the dominant force, and I think this will take the full thing by storm. 10k visitors over the last couple of months, it's grown by. It's now at 68.6k. It's one of the best AI projects by Miles. It's got one of the best founders, and it's got one of the best teams. Like these are bulletproof guys. Again, render. I would love for you guys to pay this channel, please. It'll be fantastic. It's not going to happen, but yeah, render is great. And I'm still waiting to get a position in this. It just like the previous run was absolutely fantastic. It just went vertical. And this next narrative is going to be AI. Really, it's going to be so pushed heavily. And I think Render will be one of the dominant ones in the force. Solana is the next one. I know. Solana is not going to give you the biggest returns, I don't think. But I still think it gives you easily, easily 10 to 20x. I really still still think it's got that in it. Now, it would have been better buying the 10 to 20x when it dipped down to the, like, the 9 or $10. Because you've already 5 extra money if you were to go heavy in there. At 50, it's a little bit frothy right now. But I do still think it hits a previous all-time high. I do still think it probably... Probably goes to five, six, seven hundred dollars, but it's it's, it's going to be difficult to get to a grand in this one. But I'm happy to be proven wrong. A lot of people thought this coin was tied to FTX, and it just, just proves that it wasn't. That's all done, um, and yeah, it's still getting a mil it's actually still growing, which is fantastic. A million, give or take. It's grown by a hundred k in the last couple of months. That's a lot of eyeballs, brother. Three k every single day, grown by a um, million users a month, and they've got a great product. It's super fast. A lot of accounts, NFTs are going to be massive again. The average cost is nothing. It's fast, energy efficient. You get the point. Um, and it actually works. And it's got a great team. And they're always hosting shit. I think it's a great play. Hype is going to come. You're going to see Solana. Ads going crazy. Marketing budget is going to be huge in this one. And yes, win-win. Again, you're betting on people losing. Okay. Even though the product's amazing, people have to lose for you to make money. Right? That's the way it goes. And that's what we talk about. We talk about the next one, right? HBAR, right? Exactly perfectly timed. HBAR is a fucking great project. But right now... Everybody's selling, but when hype starts to come again because of what these guys do, just look, numbers don't lie, okay? Backers don't lie. We talk about Google all the time, just one of their companies. Look at the other ones. Google is behind HBAR. Google is one of the richest companies in the world. We're using Google right now. You're on YouTube, right? We use Google right here. Google is used by everything, and Google are not here to lose billions of dollars. And again, if you think I'm shilling HBAR for the three comments out there that keep commenting, you little brokey Jeffrey, good for you, bro. You don't have to be a hater. Okay, you still watch these videos, dummy. Just relax. If you don't like HBAR, don't buy HBAR, okay? I'm locked in on this coin. Fully, fully transparent about how I'm going to play this position and when I'm going to dump my coins. But again, numbers don't lie. That's all I want to say in HBAR. I'm, I've made enough, probably over 100 HBAR videos. Um, and again, I've done all I need to talk about HBAR. They're very, very, nothing's happening in HBAR right now. But again, you look at coins when they least suspect it, they start to go crazy. This coin will run heavily in 2024, in my opinion. And even if it doesn't, let's just say it has a lackluster bull run. Okay, well, I'm spread. Other coins I've talked about so far and other ones, it's fine. I'm going to have a fantastic bull run. Illumium, great project. They're doubled, literally doubled, more than doubled the price. And um, so congratulations if you're a holder. Um, maybe take a little bit of profits and try and get back in lower if you want to be cute or just keep it DCA. doesn't really matter. But yeah, they're, they're absolutely fantastic. Last run, they went fucking crazy without a product just a trailer of a shitty game and a vision and people bought into this and this is going to be one of the next narratives again gaming is going to be huge we've already looked at all this before and yeah huge marketing budget they have sponsored channel my before i think they've done two videos with them and again lumium i'm open for sponsorships i love talking about products that i'm already interested in invested in and if i can get paid for it it's a win 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 i'll be talking about you for free i'm talking about you for free right now so fantastic game going to be coming out i don't play games but I'm just betting on other people playing games. And again, these guys don't care about cryptocurrency. Half these gamers are just playing the game because they like the game. And we get rich off the token. That's exactly what happened in the last run. A lot of people got rich, rich, rich off this coin without an effing game. So their game's out. It's better season, etc. And let's see what happens. Cardano. <laughs> the grandfather coin. The reason I'm talking about Cardano is it's not going to give you 100x gains. It's not. It's not going to sell dollars bro. But it will go to $3 to $5. And I think it might even go more. It's already hit $3, give or take. The reason team project is great, but the reason is this man. I really believe Charles means well. Like, I don't know any other, he's, he's technically a YouTuber, but he's obviously the founder. He was in Ethereum back in the days, 2014 or whatever, transitioned to here. I think they had a follow. But who's coming on two hour live streams? This man is a multi-billionaire, right? So I like founders like this, right? I love, like, that's why I'm so bullish on Ethereum. The guy, Vitalik, whatever. He doesn't need to go as hard. Like, he's good, bro. But it's more about purpose for these guys. Charles is he's not as rich as Vitalik, of course. But he's multi-billionaire, right? Multi-billionaire, probably. Probably, if not high, high four, five hundred. Let me just check. Charles Hoskinson net worth. Is Google going to tell us or is it not? 
So there you go. Forbes estimated Hoskins worth 500 million to 600 million in 2018. In 2020, yeah. So he's now, this is 2018, right? So 2021, he would have crossed a billion just by holding this coin. Multi billion years, actually, because if you look at the coin back here in 2018, it was at nothing. So, bro, he probably would have been one of the richest men, one of the richest men just in this run if all of his coins or all of his money was in ADA, right? And probably a decent chunk is, right? Because he's all in. But he probably doesn't report that. Um, because yeah, that would be high billions. But regardless, what I'm trying to say is even at this low level for him, 500 million, even at 50 million, so we take a 10X off, even not 5 million, but 50 million, but he's five to 600 million in 2018. He is multi-billionaire right now. And he's going to be mul he might even be one of the richest man in the next build run if he did this another 10X, like just five to 6 billion. And I think it would be 50 to 60 billion. Regardless, he has enough money where he just go away and give up. And it's kind of like, he's kind of like away, like he's kept himself to himself. But every single week, every single two week, he is blasting live streams. Who's doing a two hour AMA? Some of these YouTubers, me, I'm too lazy to do a two hour, <laughs> two hour AMA, right? And I'm not anywhere near this man's wealth. This man is about it. This man is serious. He is dedicated. And I believe in what he's doing. He's already rich. He doesn't need to go anymore. But he continues to do so. And he continues to talk about Ada. Um, and it's not because of the money, bro. It's because of the purpose. He wants to try and change the world with his coin and the ADA ecosystem. Don't need to sell you anymore. I'm not trying to sell you again. You look at website visitors. It's coming back up. It's nearly at 400k a month. Just come on our website. Look at all the shit they're doing. Again, the man's already rich. Blah, blah, blah. Risky one, ICP. A lot of people are talking about ICP right now. For me, it's not a buy. I cannot buy this. It's just way too low. But you could argue, Jake, well, it's just a great value buy. You're getting in at a great deal. And that's true. If there's a clearance sale for a brand new Hoover and it was at four grand and now it's at four dollars. Okay, four hundred dollars, four hundred dollar TV, right? It was and it was this was a seven hundred dollars, but now it's at four dollars forty three. Would you buy that TV or would you question something is wrong with the TV? It might be a great. Okay, we'll try this out. It's a brand new TV. It might be fantastic or it might explode in their face. That's what I kind of think ICP It's either a great buy. We get the best value for our TV possible. We get to watch all the shows, family's happy, or the fucking TV explodes in my face and my bank account goes to shit because I now have to repair the cooker and I have to repair the medical bills that maybe, <laughs> I'm going deep here, boys, but maybe it broke my leg because the explosion was so big. If I buy ICP, it can either make me rich, we have the best time in the world, or it explodes my bank account. So that's why I would say if you are interested in ICP, go light, go light. I'm talking less than 5% of your portfolio, maybe 10% max, but have some other safer plays in this because yes, this could be a home run. This could, I can't believe I'm comparing ICP to a fucking explosion TV, but hopefully it made some sense. Sometimes I have to speak in like crazy ways for it to make sense, even for me. But it could be the best play possible, the best DCA possible, the best buy of the century, or this goes to zero. Your choice to make. Those are my 10 coins. Let me know in the comments below what your 10 are, and if you're holding any of these, take care, God bless. See you in the next one.